All right, well, what's going on, guys? <laughs> so, the motor mount I made has been working really good, but I'm still having a lot of jump. And the only other thing I could think of is I had this mount laying around, and this is the same front and rear, except for this little leg is a little bit higher on the rear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it because this is the mount that controls forward to backward rock. And I think this should work, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up with um, Dawn Dish Liquid. And I mean, get this thing spotless, get it clean. And then I'm gonna cap off one side with like a piece of cardboard or something just so I can fill it. And I'm gonna take the same stuff I used last time, the premium construction polyurethane adhesive and I'm just gonna fill it and hopefully this will work I mean it's working great for the other mount and by the way this stuff is a lot stiffer than I remember like this stuff is stiff like really stiff um it's pretty I'm pretty sure it's stiffer than the window weld it's a lot stronger too because I, I don't remember it being that like sturdy but I guess I'll get a video of it when after I get it cleaned up, but you just can get a sponge and get in here and just get all the dirt and grime off. If you got any hydraulic fluid that leaked out, just try to clean that all up. So you really want a good surface for this stuff to bond to. And then I went into Walmart and got one of these. It's two dollars. It's like a dollar ninety-seven. All right, I got it all cleaned up. I've got everything ready, and I got a piece of aluminum foil, and I'm gonna cut this box out this piece of cardboard out to the circle I need it to or the diameter I need it to be and then I'm gonna put this one in the foil on top and then put the cardboard on and then tape it so that way maybe I don't put cardboard on it all right so what I've done is I just wrap the cardboard in aluminum foil you can kind of see it through there and then I'm taping it on and uh, I cut a hole out in the middle like I did the last time and this is just like a mod this isn't like you're making the whole mount now like I wanted to say that because this is not making the entire mount. That took so much longer. It was just used so much of that that adhesive and the the polyurethane. So this is just something quicker and easier you can do, you know, to try to stop your mount from ripping. Because this will be the, like I said, the tenth one that I've ripped of this one too. Like they rip so quickly. So I'm gonna finish taping it up and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get it filled. All right, so I got it all filled up. And, uh, looks pretty good. Looks simple. And the other side probably looks a lot worse. But, you know. Now we wait. But yeah, it's just, uh, it took me a lot faster. Like, easily took 30 minutes off the time. I mean, the other one took like four hours to end up doing. Um, just because I was OCD and I kept, like, smoothing it over and adjusting it and adding and... It just, just, it's so much easier if you don't give a fuck. So what I did is, I got a knife and some paper towels and the caulk gun exploded. But, um, I started in this little corner and I did a fill and then I like kind of pushed it in all the way into this thin little gap. And then uh, I came over here and did it and met it in the middle and then I filled this entire gap and I started from this corner and came over and I just wiped it around smooth and it's gonna it's gonna foam up a little bit when it's drying and then it's gonna come back down because that's what the other one did it like literally came up and then just and uh, I don't know about what the other side looks like should be good but yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean all this crap up, and then uh, I'll see what it looks like. I think that's about done. I don't really want to use it anymore. It looks shot, and it covered the whole gun, that polyurethane, and that stuff does not come off. And, you know, tips, use gloves, because, dude, this shit gets on your hands. It's so greasy, and then it dries, and then your skin cracks and shit. So, I mean, it's my fault. I'm the one who keeps not using gloves. But, I mean, I like it. I think it looks awesome. And I guess I'll get one more clip of it when it's all dried up and I take the, uh, the, the back off. Hopefully that aluminum foil, you know, is a lot easier to peel off than the cardboard. But, yeah, let's see what it looks like when it dries. Alright, so it's all dry. 
and I kind of fucked with it and I tore it when it was like 30 minutes in the drying, but I really don't care. I'm just impatient. I wanted to make sure it was like drying right and there's no air in it. But you can't even move it now. So I guess I'm about to peel this thing up. So the mount is completely dry, like as hard as a fucking rock. And just, it's not going anywhere. There is one problem: the aluminum foil did not work as well as I thought. Better than the cardboard, but I mean, of course, the side's gonna look like shit. I'm probably, I got two more mounts to do, so I'm probably gonna think about a different way of doing it, something that'll work better. I like it. I guess it's worth a try, and it's definitely better than what it was. I guess we're going to see how well it works, but I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching.